Hi guys, welcome to Reen's Place. Um, I thought I did this video before, but I don't think I have now, so I'm going to uh, video it now. What I'm doing is I'm uh, making a pot roasted London broil. It's just like you would make a regular um, bottom round London broil or whatever cut you like to use, except I'm using a London broil because um, it's just Chuck and I tonight, and the one that I, the bottom round I have in the freezer is just way too big for two people. So this is a good sized piece of meat. I'm going to have enough for dinner tonight. And then I'm going to use the leftovers to make a beef and barley soup, which will be on a later video. What I've done so far is um, I'm using my Ninja multi-cooker. If you don't have a multi-cooker, you could do this part in a frying pan and then just transfer it to your crock pot. So what I've done is I put about four teaspoons or so of vegetable oil on the bottom. I threw the steak in. I very lightly salted it because I'm going to use bouillon cubes in here and I don't want it too salty. And I put some black pepper on top. And all I'm doing now is I'm just getting it browned on uh, the bottom side, and we're going to flip it over and check it in just one second. Okay, let's see if it's ready to. I got a little bit of color. Woo! I got a little bit of color on there. Did you see that big spit of grease? Okay. That's going to go over again, but um, I'm going to brown the back side, and when I'm ready to flip it over and do the next step, I'll bring you right back with me. Okay guys, so um, I have turned the meat over. You can see it's nicely browned on the one side. And the next step is I'm going to add um, one chopped up onion. So let me grab that. Okay, I just sliced it. And I'm putting this mainly around the outside of the steak. Again, you could do this with a bottom round roast, um, whatever kind of roast you like. The London broils by me are always on sale, and it's more than enough for two people with leftovers for another meal. Okay, I'm just going to wait until these onions are um, softened a little bit, and then we'll move on to our next step. The only thing that you're going to need now is some water and some beef bouillon cubes. Um, you could use the, the granules if you like. I do like the bouillon cubes. I don't know why, but I think they have a slightly different taste. But these are the ones that I use. So um, I'm gonna wait until these are sauteed down a little bit, and then I'm gonna bring you back and we'll add the water and the beef bouillon cubes and we'll get this thing set. Again, this part, if you didn't have a multi-cooker, you'd be doing this part on the stove top. And then after the onions are sautéed down, you would move the steak and the onions um, over into your crock pot. Okay, we'll be back in two. Okay, we're back. The onions are um, softened and slightly sautéed. And all we're going to do now is I'm going to add some water to it. I'm going to put it just to the edge of the meat but not covering it because I don't want soup. Okay, so for a London broil, I just use two cups of water. Um, if you have a larger, higher piece of meat, you could put a little bit more. Again, you want it to come up to the sides so that it pot roasts nicely, but you don't want it to cover it because you don't want it, like, boiled. Um, what I'm going to add now is four bouillon cubes. Okay. You can use granules. You could use um, beef broth instead of water, whichever you like or have. That's fine. Okay, so I should have told you before I did it. Again, if you were doing this on the stove top, you would do um, the meat and the onions sautéed, move it over to your crock pot, then you would add the water and the bouillon cubes. Now I'm switching my um, Ninja from stove cook high to slow cooker low, and I'm going to set it for, I'm setting it for seven hours. I'm going to cover it, and I'm done. So I will bring you back when it's done, and I'll show you how we make gravy. Okay, guys, we'll see you later on. Okay, I'm back. Um, the pot roast is done. I'm going to just get rid of the sled for a second. My crock pot actually turned off, and I just put it on stove top high to get it going so I can make the gravy 
I'm going to remove the meat. I'll cut it and show you. Um, and I'm just bringing, again, I'm bringing all the juices to a simmer. And I'm going to um, make a roux just using cornstarch and um, some water. I just use a regular old coffee mug. I give it a heaping tablespoon. Like that. And I'm going to go to the sink and add a little water to it. Okay, this is what they call a slurry, and it's just water and cornstarch. Now you just want to wait until it's nice and hot. You can see it's starting to bubble. And um, I'm going to just pour this in here, and I'm going to give it a stir. And you'll notice that as it gets hotter in the pan, it'll get thicker. So I'm going to let that sit there for a second. And I might actually put the top back on because I have my air conditioner on in here. Okay. So, um, let me grab a knife. probably can hear the dogs have some new toys that they're enjoying. Tennis balls. Okay, let me show you. This would be easier if I would have brought a fork over, but I'm just going to go at it. You can see it is so tender that it's literally like just breaking apart. And this is how we love it. Okay, and um, let's go back over here and check on the gravy. Oh, it's boiling up nice. That's it. That's all there is to making pot roast and gravy. Ooh, I really steamed up the camera, didn't I? If you like it a little thicker, which actually I think we do. I'm going to give it a little more cornstarch. Just a little bit. Oh, the spoon fell in, didn't it? That's no fun. Luckily, I have tongs right here. <laughs> okay. Let me get another spoon. Okay, so you can stir this and, you know, taste it to your seasonings if you, um, it's actually lots of salt in it from the bouillon cube, so I don't like to add salt, but I usually do add some, like, crushed, fresh ground black pepper to mine, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Just taste it and see what you think, and then I almost lost a second spoon. I just showed you just to show you what it looks like. That's it. Hot roast and onion gravy. You can strain the um, onions out if you don't like the onions in it. Like my husband won't eat the onions, so I'll strain them out for him. But um, it's delicious. Um, I made extra gravy so we could have it over mashed potatoes. 
and you can make a vegetable on the side. It's just um, a good quick meal in the slow cooker. You just put it on in the morning and then whenever you're ready to eat, you have it. So I hope you guys enjoy the pot roast video. Please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, please hit that red subscribe button. There'll be more videos coming. Hope you